Throughout my life, it's always felt like there was never enough time to do art. Like, really focus in on the fundamentals and the projects that I wanted to create. Like, I truly believe that getting good grades, doing well on standardized tests, and maxing out on extracurriculars were the secret to some future version of success or happiness that I just needed to grind towards. Maybe here or there during winter break, I would sketch for fun, but I was always focused on the next thing. In high school, the next thing was college applications. And then when I got to college, the next thing was figuring out my future career path. I went into college thinking that I would be a dentist because I liked the idea of working with my hands and I also thought it would be a pretty chill lifestyle where I could have the time to do art after work. Long story short, I quickly pivoted out of dentistry after bombing my final chemistry exam and uh, I decided to go into computer science because there was a lot of buzz around the time and I liked the idea of being able to build something like a mobile app and then make passive income uh, and then do whatever I wanted, like easy peasy, right? Uh, so then the next thing that I spent a lot of my time worrying and agonizing about was getting internships and studying for software engineering interviews. And throughout all these years, it was really only on those winter breaks that I let myself draw. And I'll be honest, when I did draw, I hated my drawings and I would beat myself up over them. But in the back of my head, I always had this vision that someday I can get really good at art when I have a lot of time to dedicate to it. But for now, I just need to put my head down and grind until one day I wake up and I'm successful and I really earned that time to do art. Then after college, I managed to land my first software engineering job at a big bank and this was supposed to be like a great stepping stone. And on paper, it was an amazing job and it was supposed to be everything that I worked so hard for and I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, but like, I hated that job. For one, it was really stressful, which by itself kind of sucks, but um, the main thing was that my manager and this other guy on my team were really toxic and I even ended up crying in front of my manager a couple times, like it wasn't pretty. And I remember just thinking to myself like, why did I work so hard to end up in this place that I hate? Why did I spend years grinding and sacrificing the present for the future if this is where it got me? If money weren't an issue, I knew that the thing that I did care about and want to do was get better at art. The thing about that first job though was that the offer that I signed had a clawback stipulation that said if I quit within the first year, then I had to return my signing bonus in full, which I already spent on relocation, so I decided I'm just going to stick it out for the whole year. And so I kept dreading going into work, and I remember just being there and daydreaming about doing anything else, like painting walls, decorating cakes. Um, and around this time, I was also looking at options for learning art. And I came across this online subscription-based program that was created by the Watts Atelier. And this program was Learn at Your Own Pace, where you watch the videos and follow along doing the homework. So I decided I wanted to try this program out and see if I could improve my skills this way. And even though I dreaded my day job, I felt this excitement about learning through the Watts videos and I knew that I just wanted to spend more time on it. But it was hard for me to get into the habit of drawing a lot. There was also so much pressure associated with doing art. Like I felt this enormous pressure of having to get good really fast. And that was compounded by feelings of like, what if this is a waste of time? What if I should be studying for interviews? What if I should be looking for another job? And and I felt so far away from my goals because I thought, you know, there's, there's people that have been drawing every day since they were 10 and they went to four years of art school or an art atelier um, and I didn't. Like, how on earth do I catch up with those people? And that's another topic altogether that I won't get into right now, like the whole comparing yourself to others thing. But I'm just telling you what my thought process was at the time. Um, so I was still fighting this feeling that this art thing that I wanted had to be earned. 
And there was also this ego attached to it too, because there was this perfectionist part of me that was like, oh, if I'm going to learn art, like I really wanna be able to hunker down and then get really good and prove myself. And I think everyone at some point has daydreams of like, how great would it be to save up a bunch of money and then just quit and then learn art full time. Uh, but if I were to do something like that, I also needed to make sure that I had a lot of money and make sure that my parents weren't gonna worry about my future or anything like that. And it was this super all or nothing mindset that I just needed to figure out my career and finances first before I could finally pursue learning art. So then while I was struggling with all those feelings at the year mark, I finally quit my job and thought I'm going to leave software engineering and go into teaching because maybe if I'm a teacher, I can have extra time during the summers and after school to really do art and I can try to hustle for money on the side by you know selling stuff on eBay and making t-shirts. And looking back, I was always hunting for this perfect lifestyle that would let me make money and do art. But it's ironic because I wasn't even integrating art well into my current lifestyle. After quitting my software job, I actually stopped my watch subscription because I wanted to save money and I decided I wanted to try to learn on my own by copying some art books that I had. But I didn't really feel like I was making meaningful progress um, and it was still hard for me to get into the habit of drawing. So I spent around six months doing the teaching thing. I did substitute teaching, I did tutoring, and I learned that, you know, this kind of sucks. Like the job itself was more fulfilling because I got to help students. But I also learned that taking a significant pay cut really sucks. So I decided to go back into software engineering and around that time the pandemic hit, um, but I was able to eventually land a job at another bank. But this time, thankfully, my team and my manager were actually really nice. And the work was also remote because of the pandemic. So fast forward a few months into that job, I got into this routine of waking up, uh, going to the computer to do work during the day, and then at night I would play video games and then I would go to sleep. And this would repeat every day and I just felt like something was missing. Like I felt like a zombie going to work every day and like every day was pretty much doing the same thing and I wasn't really doing much art at the time uh, and I just really felt stuck. At the time, I started doing this online life coaching thing, which I pretty much just treated like therapy. And in the first session with my coach, he asked me what my overall life goals were. And I told him that one of my goals was to have mastery in art and just keep getting better at art. And he stopped me and he said, that's a really good goal to have. And I was so confused and surprised even because up until that point, I had been trying to justify the time that I spent drawing and give myself permission to pursue this thing. But a part of me just never could really fully let myself. And hearing that, it really woke me up. Like hearing someone else say that I could pursue this thing and that it was good and that I could make it happen. It wasn't just some fantasy or daydream or waste of time. And that was really the turning point for me in terms of the mindset shift that I needed. Like before I was scared to tell people that I wanted to get better at art. Um, I think I was so afraid of failure and yet a total stranger who had never even seen my art um, not only believed that I could do it, but also saw that it was something good and worthy of pursuing and putting my time into. And that gave me courage. And that's when I decided I wanted to take these online feedback classes offered by the Watts Atelier. Uh, and these were different from before because they were full participation classes where you get feedback from an instructor in video form. And when I started taking these classes, that's when everything changed for me. I literally felt the dread and anxiety in my days go away. And I finally felt like I was on the path and I didn't have to wait for some perfect future where I had all this money and time. I could take these classes now and I could do the homework after work and I could see the improvement week to week. And that felt so energizing. Um, when you're trying to learn art on your own, you don't always see the things that you need to improve, but when there's an instructor, you can take the feedback that they give you and then try to improve on it the following week. And I saw the fastest improvement this way and I felt like I was finally moving in the right direction. And it gave me a new appreciation and gratitude for my job too, because the only reason that I could take these classes was because of my job. And 
my job, my career, all these things weren't the problem. It was these mental blocks that I had. And the message here isn't that you need to spend thousands of dollars on classes every year and have a perfect curriculum planned out. Um, it could be something small, like 15 minutes of intentional sketching a day. As long as you start somewhere, that's always going to lead to something else. And I'm speaking to my younger self here. Like, I spun my wheels for years thinking that I had to fix my career first, I had to make a bunch of money or become financially independent, and I had to do all these things so that I could have the time to do art and no one could tell me that it's a bad idea. And it's also interesting because I quit my job this year to become a stay-at-home mom, so it just goes to show like how much your priorities can change over the years. But regardless of what job I had or didn't have, at any point in time, I could have gotten on the path to improving my art and it would have gotten rid of so many of my doubts, worries, anxieties, and regrets. If art is something you want to pursue, you don't need to do something drastic like quit your 9 to 5 and I probably wouldn't even recommend that in most cases. Find a way to fit art into your current lifestyle, even if it's just a little bit. And trust me, you will feel a lot better. And it sounds so cliche, right? Like, you always hear, just do it. Just do it. The, the best time to plant a tree is today. But it's true, because it's not about over-optimizing on how to achieve your goals. Because it isn't even the goals that matters at the start. What matters is that feeling that you're moving somewhere and that you're not just stuck in life. So for anyone out there that wants to embark on the journey of getting better at art, to them I say, that's a really amazing goal and let yourself pursue that today.